Hey, welcome back. Today we are going to be talking about numeric slicers. So let's see how we can apply them. To insert a numeric slicer, let's go to add a control and let's choose this slider option. I'm going to place it here. And then we will be able to see our slicer. As you can see, we have this order ID column placed in our control field. Let's change it with different column. In this case, I'm going to be using price. So let's try with price. And we have two values. This is the lowest value and this is the maximum value. We can basically slide this. And that way we will be able to choose the lowest value that we would like to see in our data. So if I put it like this, we will be able to see total sales with products that has price between this number here and this number here. What we can also do, we can type here and we can change it to this number, for example, and here we can provide some other number. If I press enter, I will be able to see total sales for those products that have price between those two values, 500 and 1000. Excellent. Well, let's check what other options we have. We also have this default selection option. So basically, if you provide two values here, Default value will be between those two numbers. Let's scroll down a bit. We can also choose here number, for example, like this. Let's provide this number. That way we will be able to see only prices between this number and this number here. If you put one, then we will be able to see only this price range here. We also got this filter option here, so you can basically filter this slicer to present only certain values, but we will not be working with that in this video. Let's go to style, that is important for us. And here we can provide drop down, fixed sized. So this is the drop down, this is fixed sized. Excellent. We can provide label position, slider mode. Let's provide like this. So we will not be able to modify minimum value in this case. If we provide max, then we will not be able to modify maximum value. Okay. Let's uncheck this. That way we will not be able to see this number. Also, we have some text option. We can modify this text color. Let's try with this one. Slider color. Let's try with this one. Track fill color, let's use this one. So basically you can modify anything here. And as usual, we have this border and background section and basically you are able to modify your slicer itself. Okay, with this, I'm gonna conclude this lesson. Thank you for watching.